In this video, I'll show you how to set up facial motion capture in Blender using OpenCV and a web camera. Let's get started. This is a character called Vincent, available for free from Blender Cloud. It has these little nodes that allow you to control the bones. Here's one that controls the jaw and lips, and up and down moves the jaw up and down, and side to side moves the mouth wider and closed. And I noticed that when you look at all the properties, it shows these Python objects showing what the property name is. And that got me thinking, what if I can script this character to move with OpenCV? Now, Blender has this scripting tab, which allows you to script objects within Blender using Python. So I've created two Python scripts. One adds an add-on to the user interface. So when we're in object mode, it adds OpenCV animation and a little capture button that when we press it, opens the capture window and starts doing an OpenCV capture of control points on your face. These control points are then mapped to the character and we show how open or closed the mouth is how raised or lowered the eyebrows are and the posi position of the head which direction it's facing and then we can right click or press escape and it closes the capture window while we're capturing points on the face we're also recording the animation keys for each one of the objects that are moving so if we start recording within blender if we, if we hit space we can then record all these capture points and then play them back as an animation later. Here I go back and then press play. And so we have that recorded animation within Blender. So now I'll show you how to set this up in Blender. The steps that I'll be going through are installing OpenCV, downloading the Vincent 3D model, creating Python scripts in Blender, and downloading the facial landmark database. To start off with, we'll have to find out where Blender's Python is so that we can install the OpenCV libraries. Now it can be in one of two places. Blender could use the operating system's Python, or there could be a standalone version of Python packaged with Blender. There's an easy way you can find out where your version of Python is. Open up the scripting tab within Blender, and then in the Python console, type in import sys, and then sys.path. Now here my Python libraries folder is in a system folder, meaning that I'm using the operating systems version of Python. So at the terminal I can just type in Python and it runs this same version and instance of Python 3.73. Now the other option is if your version of Blender uses its own self-contained Python. In this case the libraries files would be in the installation folder of Blender. So to run this instance of Python, you would go to the installation folder, go to the 2.80 path, Python, bin, and then type in Python 3.7m. Now that we know which command runs the same instance of Python from the terminal, we can install the OpenCV libraries. First we'll ensure that pip is installed, the Python package installer. Now this command to update pip. And then finally we'll run this command to install all the packages we need. All these commands are listed in the description below. Now that we have the OpenCV libraries installed, we can test that it works by going back to Blender, opening up the Python terminal and typing in import cv2, then cv2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore, and it should tell us that we have the right version installed. To download the Vincent 3D model, go to cloud.blender.org, scroll down to the characters section, and then we can download the free model Vincent. 
And now we'll set up the Python scripts to animate the character. Open up the Vincent model that you've just downloaded and go to the scripting tab. Now create a new script and copy and paste the contents of the opencv anim operator.python file linked in the description. Now we can give the file a name and then we can repeat the same process with the opencv anim.py file. Now you'll need to open both Python scripts and click the Run Script button. And while you're there, click the Register checkbox. This will run the script when you open the file the next time. Now the last topic is downloading the Facial Landmarks database. This database is based off of the iBug database, which is for research purposes only, so that means no commercial use. The link for this database is in the description. You'll need to download this and update the path which you saved it to in the OpenCV anim operator Python file. Now you should have a working Blender motion capture. You'll need to do a little bit of calibration by moving your face around at the start. It determines the extents to which everything moves. Now if you get this working, let me know down in the description. Otherwise, if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe.